Well, come back everyone from lunch breaks and some of you from 24-hour hacking. I heard some people haven't slept. And I'm not going to introduce this very long. We're just going about to see the results, the demos of the audio hack day with SoundCloud. And I'm passing the mic to Amelie, back-end developer there, and she will, yeah, moderate the whole thing. Thank you, Jana. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the demos of the Audio Hack Day. So um, the Audio Hack Day started yesterday around noon. Um, so we had something like, I don't know, uh, I didn't count exactly, but more than 20 people uh, coming and, and, and willing to hack on audio. Uh, and by audio, I mean anything. Uh, it could be music, it could be um, storytelling, it could be nature sounds, anything really. And um, those hackers have been around with us for 24 hours. Some of them didn't sleep, uh, which is amazing, I think. And um, um, you'll see what can come up of like those 24 hours of, of, of work. I think uh, some apps are already pretty advanced. So um, yeah, welcome to the demos. And we'll start uh, with Thiago. Um, and yeah, so go on. <laughs> can I? Hello, hello everybody. Um, let's start from here. Okay, my name is Thiago Colares. I came from Brazil. I am a musician, a teacher, a guitar player also, and a computer geek. So, uh, I, this competition, I am joining two things I love, to program and to play with music. Okay, my idea to this project comes from a, a situation that uh, it's uh, so common to me. Uh, when we organize parties in Brazil, just uh, parties with friends, uh, like an open house, uh, for example, we used to choose playlists to play in the house. And there, there's a lot of kind of music in Brazil, as in a lot of countries. Please don't come with the uh, uh, Michel Teló that I hate so lot, but uh, we used to uh, listen to uh, different kinds of music, very, very large kind of music. And sometimes uh, we organize friends that don't like uh, music that the other likes. So it's an app to help, it, to, help to people to know each other in order to create a, play, uh, a playlist that's a kind of a more democracy. Yeah? Uh, okay, everything begins with uh, organizing events. Uh, it could be a party, it could be an open house, it, it could be uh, just, oh, let's have a dinner at my home. So, for example, I started to use the Facebook, uh, the Facebook uh, API uh, to create events and to uh, invite my friends. So, I created really two, uh, okay, uh, two events called Clube da Luluzinha, que in Portuguese it's a kind of a, a party just for girls, boys are not allowed, and uh, in an open house to Manjuana. Manjuana is a, a tricky name, just a place that's so far, so far away. So, uh, the project is, I started to creating a, 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 an event on Facebook, invite my friends, my friends join to the event, and accept the, the terms of my app, that I build an app on Facebook. Next step is, each one that accepts my invite shows me some, um, some things about yourself, some things about your profile, like your age, like the, the place where you live, like some things you, you like or dislike, as you follow, feel your profile. So as the, the, the person accepts my invitation, it, the, the person is allowed to tell me a, a little bit about himself, yeah? So there is it, the, the Arenas playlist. It's an app that gets the information about all the invitations from the people, uh, who they are, if a female or male, which age they are, and try to build, okay, uh, regarding also the, the place where you live, the things that you like to live, the, 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 the food, the, the music also, to build a, a playlist that anybody can enjoy, probably. Yeah? So, uh, that is it. 
it's, it's quite that simple. The persons uh, uh, accept the, the, the invitation. They send me information about yourself without doing that. It's a kind of a transparency. They do not have to, to, to fill a form, they just to accept in the, the Facebook to do the rest. And then I get this information to build a data warehouse. So uh, the first uh, challenge was that uh, a lot of APIs that we have saw the, the, the yesterday uh, was not allowed to do something I want. Uh, instead of, uh, for example, the APIs we have studied, you have to look for our seed, and then the API, you give uh, some tags around the asset. But the opposite is not possible. For example, I would like to know if a girl from 26 years who lives at um, Brazil, for example, what the kind of person used to like to, to, to listen. The, apples, the, the APIs don't allow to do that. Sorry about my English, I think you are understanding. If you, you do like to ask in Portuguese, it would be a pleasure to answer. Um, so this is what the challenge, the challenge to uh, do the opposite. Regarding the profiles information about the persons, try to identify a, a, a common like of music, okay? So uh, first of all, uh, I've tried to organize all the data in the kind of, uh, 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 that's my, not my problem. I have to build an uh, API myself. So I organize all the data, as you see here. It's, it's just a, a key, a value, for example, the sex is female, the hometown, Salvador, it's my city. Uh, interesting about music, you can say uh, Jack Johnson, for fun, um, the other things. So I try to do something like Google, but more simple. I try to uh, uh, calculate the occurrence of these terms. As you can see, other, other persons I asked to invite to my party was girls. Please don't, don't get mad with me, it's just a, a, a test, okay? <laughs> but only girls uh, uh, was invited to my, uh, uh, my party. Then uh, all, all of them was from Brazil, uh, most of them. There was a, a couple from the other place of the world. So you can see here a kind of a, a order. So it was useful to me to get a, a, a priority to, to music that I used to uh, suggest to the playlist. Uh, I also uh, grabbed from Less FM top of songs that are more listened because because okay I, I'm, I'm grabbing the information about the people but I don't have the RC so I have to grab the top of mind of the, the, the whole world so I grab a, a kind of a, a hundred one or a thousand one what's the, the, the top of mind in the last FM and try to match the, the tags from this artist with the tags of the persons who invited to my party. Have I made myself clear? So that is it. Uh, this is my application. This is the two events that I've created. For example, the Club of Luluzinha. If I click on playlist, there's a playlist based on the tabs from they told me. For example, this is a, a, a band from Bahia. It's very awesome. I, okay, there is a sound, but I can show you later. But I think there is it. Uh, the code is available at GitHub uh, under a, 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 a free license. You can fork the project or, or coding uh, with me. And there's it. Perfect, thank you, Thiago. Great. So that was the first hack. Uh, so keep in mind that all those uh, audio hacks are all uh, um, competing for uh, prizes. And the first prize uh, t today is actually a trip to the next Music Hack Day in Iceland. So it's a pretty interesting prize. Uh, so next one up uh, is by Mohamed Sarah and Paolo. And it's called Dude, Where Is My Music? 
Uh, well, hi, we are uh, Paolo, Sara, and myself, Mohammed, and we are going to show this hack called uh, WIM, which stands for uh, Where's My Music, Dude. And it's actually it's inspired by uh, the movie Dude's Where's My Car. And well, basically, we want to, to solve is this uh, two situations. Imagine that we are lost in time or space. So, for example, if you're lost in time, if I lived in the 80s or in the 70s, what kind of music I would have been listening to, depending on my music profile from now, I can go back in time and see what kind of music I would have been listening to in that time. And regarding the space, what we want to, to do is that if I was now in, in Barcelona or in New York, what kind of places do you recommend me to, to visit, like pubs, to, to listen to some music? Uh, so, basically, the first one is uh, if I lived in the 80s, 50s, whatever. Um, so, we basically have a, a list of, uh, of tracks, a user profile, and we use this list of tracks to build uh, a model in this magic box and then recommend music from a specific decade. So... This magic box is not so magic. The idea is that we get the similar artists to the ones that uh, are in my user profile, and then I get artist tracks, and from these artist tracks, you just build the, the playlist. Let, let me show you the, how it works. So basically, I'm in a Spotify, and I would like to see if I lived in the 70s, I would have listened to this type of music. Basically, you get a lot of, of tracks from... Uh, Straight. Okay, just I wanted to add that uh, basically how we obtain these um, uh, decades, we just take the, the active period of the artist. So we just obtain if an artist was active in the 80s or the 70s, that's how we get the, the, the similar uh, artists. And then f the second part is about... Um, yeah. Well, the second part is, uh, like he's told before, uh, recommend their uh, system of places, of pubs, venues. Imagine that you are in a new city or mainly, or maybe in your city and you want to go to pubs that um, play music in relation with the music that you like. So we have the Spotify profile and we have the music that you like with the, tro the top list. Um, we can get the kind of music, the type of music that you like with that. Uh, with Econes. One, we have the, the type of music that you like. We can check uh, which pubs are playing that kind of music because uh, we are creating a database uh, between uh, all the people doing check-in with music. Uh, we are going to explain that uh, later. It's the mobile application. Uh, and once we have that, we, we also share that in Facebook. Once we have that, we get the Facebook places. And we saw the Facebook places on the pubs in the in the Spotify application. And what about the mobile application? Well, um, I'm going to explain you that with the um, with the demo. That is easier to understand. So, well, we need a logo. If someone is interested in doing, uh, we just log in into Facebook. Okay. Once we are logged, we go into an application and we go to the spaces. And we, well, the Wi Fi say that we are in San Francisco. So we can recommend places in relation with San Francisco and we can see that there is a place where everyone play pop music in Union Square. But we can also say, uh, okay, now that we are in San Francisco, we are going to do check in with any song. For example, um, I'm, oh, sorry. Sorry for the alerts. <laughs> I think that we are going to have some. 
but well, yeah, we select the the song from Spotify, and also we get the the location, so we can see whatever. I'm going to have a lot of alerts, so <laughs> I forgot to remember the alerts. We can see all the places and the ID, and we can select one and do instead of checking music in, and that's it. That is the mobile application, and that's all. If you have. Any question? Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Um, yeah, so as you can see from the alerts, uh, that's a hack they were still tweaking a few minutes ago. So it's really a, a brand new hack. So the next one coming up uh, is, um, I think it's a subjective um, music recommended by Yading and Stefano. Yeah. Or the Oh, there's more. So while uh, we're tweaking the, the projector, if I can ask the next uh, group to come up. So I think that should be Stefano for uh, Striper Synth. Okay, so yeah, we're perfect. So we can start, but next ones can get started. Um, yeah, um, so hello, everybody. Um, we are a student from Queen Mary, North of London. Um, so hello everybody, um, I'm Yadeng and this is my colleague, so it's uh, Stefano. So today we are going to show a personalized music recommendation. So if you came um, to the band's talk on Tuesday, I think you mentioned some music recommendation based on content-based. And also uh, there's one uh, collaborative filtering, basically you can use the gyron, you can use the lyre. And also you can, you can, uh, you can use the si singer, the artist, to find the music you like. So all of these techniques is based on, um, it's, it's, it's objective. So what we were thinking is to create a recommendation based on your personality, based on yourself. So, um, and we thought of like emotion and our activity. So it's purely based on um, subjective based music recommendation. And we didn't prepare any slides. So we'll just show you the demo and you can see how it works. So there are three types of um, recommendation system. So the first one is keyword based. Um, so you can, you can use some keyword that you like to listen to music. For example, if you like computer, the lot of computer here, you can simply type computer. Uh, because this is a live, um, we have to download the music from the 7 Digital, and we use the um, API from LastFam. So all the music, uh, it's on live, so it's not on my computer. And everyone can use it, and they will find the same music. So this is the result, returns. And uh, you can hear the music. So the computer music. Um. So this is the result returned by the last fan API. And also, suppose like some people is laughing, and I can simply type like some ridiculous word like haha. -ha. You can find some haha -ha music. that we like to type. It's, um, it can be anything. So, and also the second one is the uh, emotion-based. For example, I've, um, for example he, he broke up and uh, he, f he wants some sad music. He can basically use, some, use the recommendation system to find like, I want some sad music. And he can choose sad and to see like what he can get. So, for example, the first one, Leanna Louise hurt.
somewhere in my broken heart. It, it is not based on the title, so, so, so you can see none of the title is stay sad or something like that. It's, it's based on the human, our feelings. So you can find, um, the ideally, ideally we're looking for like a classifier we can use in the, in the web. So we'll automatically classify all the music, so we give the different emotion. So, and also for now we have four emotions, for example, happy, sad, angry, and relaxed. So um, after that, we're trying to implement more emotion, for example, desperate and um, delighted. So we can, and this is ideally the recommendation system. And the last one is kind of similar to the, the, the first one. So it's uh, context-based. So for example, you can, uh, you can do everything you like. So for example, I'm going to drive. So you can choose drive. And also if you are going dancing um, or have a party, you can choose some dancing music and the recommendation system will automatically give you some dancing music. We can, we can see the result here. Sorry, it's a bit slow because it's, uh, it's live. I have to download all the music from the, from the internet. And uh, yeah. And like what I said, we can, we can um, the system will, the system will choose a lot of music, and uh, it's not like uh, the system will return like ten, ten, 10 songs. And you can ask the system to choose as much as you want, like 50 songs. This is the job for dancing. No, it's alright. So, uh, and like what I said, we used the API from LastFam and we used the API from 7 Digital and we also used the API from Iconest. So all those database and song is from their website. So you can use it anywhere. So it's not like from my personal database. So it uh, it's, can be used anywhere. It's online application. And uh, if you have any questions, that's it. Thanks a lot, Yaring. Um, yeah, I think for the questions, uh, we'll, we'll try to do that at the end so that you can ask all the questions to everybody. Um, so for the next hack, um, so like I said, uh, I think it's Tribe Think by uh, Stefano Baldan. Is Stefano around? Fantastic. Right. Um. Okay. That's nice. So hi everybody, my name is Stefano and uh, I'd like to show you, uh, okay, th this has nothing to do with uh, um, internet APIs, but uh, it just came from an idea I had while thinking about internet APIs, um, in the sense that the output of this thing could be used to, okay, maybe to upload on SoundCloud or other, um, or other uh, internet uh, services. And uh, this is basically a um, software synthesizer which uh, uh, uses uh, the video material coming from the webcam as uh, the, the data to, to generate sound. It is based on uh, a technique which is called uh, slit scan. So basically, okay, the uh, Upper right image and the lower left image are okay. Just the x and y is uh, traces of what's happening on the webcam, and uh, doing an inverse uh, inverse transform and treating those images like uh, spectrograms. I generate the waveform, and uh, okay, uh, I think it has a quite characteristic sound and. Can we hear it? Okay. 
those are the basic sounds you can achieve with uh, this tool. Then uh, I can tweak some parameters, so I can choose uh, upper and lower bounds for frequency. And choose uh, in which direction and how fast to scan the image. I don't know if you can see the lines on the on the upper left image. Which one? At different speeds, I can add uh, image processing algorithms to the to the image. And some of them have quite characteristic sounds like is that detection or you can smooth the spectrogram. And tweaking a little bit some parameters have really, really interesting sounds. So this sounds like some sort of bells, I think. No. You can mix with the original image. Okay, and doing basically this sort of things. And this could be used as well as uh, for video material, also for photos, for example, the SoundCloud artworks for uh, sound samples, and then used to, to, to make a sort of audio signatures of that picture, so also from picture from uh, Google, YouTube, for example. And okay, mm, it's just a way to um, think about the visual data as uh, audio material and vice versa. That's it. Thanks a lot, Stefano. Very impressive. Um, so then the next hack coming up is um, here, here. And uh, if I can ask, because after all those software, uh, like desktop and, and um, web apps, we're going to have a lot of uh, phone apps. So if I can ask the phone hackers to come and, and, and gather around the, the stage, that would be awesome. But first, here, here. Hello everyone, congratulations for a day of hacking. Um, I'm Chris Waring um, from the UK, London, um, a front-end web developer, sort of interested in music exploration and social space. Um, this is Classine. Hello, I'm a UX designer from Amsterdam and uh, we cooperate together to uh, do some SoundCloud hacking. We were thinking all the time about how to use the geolocation in SoundCloud. And we came up with this idea here, here. So it's like uh, seeing the city as a maze, an audio maze. You can, um, you, you have a file, an audio file, and you need to look for it. And you can only look for it by listening to the sound. So you know there's an audio file around. And that by adjusting the volume, so when the volume goes up, you are closer to the sound, like hot and cold. And it can also be in the left, uh, side you hear the sound better than the right side so you know okay I need to go here and so you are looking for the sound yep so we are working on top of the SoundCloud API um, and placing sounds in geospace um, so working out uh, some of the some of the basic path routes um, so we'd be able to plan a route of uh, of, of tracks throughout a, a particular area and someone else could set that up for you in advance and it becomes an exploratory, exploratory sort of game um, for someone else to look around the city. 
and the intention would be that we'd you start on your mobile device and you'd have your headphone um, set up and then you'd listen and based on the volume you'd be able to relocate yourself and walk around the city um, and try and find a particular sound and when you found that sound then you'd go on to the next challenge would be to find the second one uh, so what you see now is a few screens how it can work you can create or listen to one and you can also see the sounds that are around you and select one to find it and to make it more of a game or, of a, or a discovery tool um, you can get alerts hey someone found your sound or someone left a sound close by here so now Chris is doing a demonstration <laughs> so hopefully this will work but um, if we can switch the camera So I think here we can all say that connectivity has been a bit of a problem. Um, so we've, we're currently hijacking from a laptop that's connected to Ethernet through various phones anyway. But um, So this is the sort of beginning home screen. Um, you can see it's picking up the longitude and latitude of your location um, and the speed and accelerometer data. And we can adjust this. You can see it changing very slightly. Um, the user wouldn't really have much input, so we would just sort of press, press go and then listen and start to walk around. And the, uh, the icon at the top would sort of enlarge based on when you get closer towards the, the sound. So if, if I press go. Yeah, and we have a video as an example of it working. There you go, in summary, that's our hack. Um, we have many more ideas of where we could work with sort of spatial ideas um, and place sounds around and sort of collaborative and maybe using timers, but that's it in its basics for, for now. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, so, more phone apps now. Um, I think we have a run for music now. Yeah, um, uh, we are Jan and Federico. Um, we try to um, put together a mobile app too, uh, which is a little bit special. Um, an old idea from me that it's um, good to connect mobile devices and sports. And so Federico is a sporty guy who likes running, and I'm the uh, guy who likes sitting on the couch. So we thought it's a good idea to work together. Um, our idea is. Um, run for music. Um, so music for running instead of running to music. A um, lot of people always try to put together a playlist um, where they self um, want to go outside having uh, a run through the park. Um, okay, but then there's always a problem. Should I hear DJ Bobo or uh, maybe uh, Bach or whatever? Um, it's uh, the problem of the speed. If you're running you always get in shape, to, you need some beats to running for, and it uh, depends on your condition what sounds you like. If you're running to music, you always get to the border that sometimes um, uh, the music is too fast, and so you have to really run too fast, and you're exhausted, and that's not good for you, and not good for, for everyone, because it's, it's not the best for your body. So we decided um, we can make it better. So. Um, we created a um, step counter for a um, phone, uh, which uh, uses your, your movement and um, creates, uh, or um, it compares it to beats per minute. So um, basically, it's just um, searching for the BPI, uh, BPM you're running, and then searching the uh, SoundCloud API for 
matching sounds so that you're running to the sound. Um, no, you're not running to the sound, but the sound is running to your speed. Um, and it changes if you're running faster after a few minutes, uh, the music um, will be faster too. Uh, better, you'll find some music which is faster. Uh, let's have a look. That's a basic screen you are you're onto, and it's an Android app for the first time now. Um, you've got simply a button and uh, a drop down. So on the drop down, you can um, choose which music uh, genre you want to, to hear. So uh, house, hip hop, rock, punk, whatever it's you like. Uh, maybe rock for you, maybe techno for me. Um, so you can select one and uh, press play. And then you have to run. So the first 20 seconds, uh, the app needs to, to um, measure your average speeds per minute, uh, so, your, so your speed in running. And after it's got this, um, maybe you're running at, what's it? Uh, oh, that's very fast, 252 uh, beats per minute. And it's searching for SoundCloud now, uh, if there are any um, sounds with that speed. And maybe if you're not running that fast, only eight, 188 uh, minutes uh, beats per hour, you'll really find a song which matched your speed. So you can run to the beat which is very impressive, I think. Um, we also, that's, that's only the presentation, we also have it live on stage here, and now we'll give a try, I think. I hope so, because the, the wireless is uh, really crappy here. Um, maybe you can... So I will select... Uh, house maybe or maybe techno because we find some some better songs for it and press play and now we have to run okay run 20 seconds before this i, I had uh, 200 kilos yesterday we had a lot of debugging okay five six four and we've got he's, he finds something he is loading the ipi this was now... Oh, okay. <laughs> Classic. Um, 96 BPM, but we've got a 503. Uh, that's, that's SoundCloud, the 503. What's, what's up there? That's, that's a SoundCloud <laughs> error. Okay, I'll give another try. Have I, have another, maybe now it's... Uh, yeah, faster. Maybe not techno, maybe house. Really a tech house. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, and... Oh, yeah. We've got something. 116 BPM, and we find out it's a track. Maybe you can hear it. If it's playing, need some time, sometimes. Uh, come on. We had a little bit buffering and preloading. So if, you're good, if you had a good connection, it's really good. Okay, now we actually hear nothing, but um, there is a sound, I promise. <laughs> and I can, I can also skip it. So if I don't like it, and uh, just in the, hybrid, in, the uh, in my, my trousers, I can skip it and it will, will wrote a new song, but yeah, the connection is too bad here. Oh, there, now it loads another from the sound BPM. You see, uh, in the, on the top now it's BPM 8 because I've, I've stopped running. So in two minutes it will update itself and take slower songs. So that's why you never have to, to uh, worry about um, going in the park running. Uh, just take this app and run. And uh, 
you will be promised to have the best matching sounds for your sport. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Very nice demo. Uh, so next coming up, I think you guys. <laughs> so it's a, an iPhone app just to get you a new phone. Um, it's, clo it's called Cloud Things. And um, there are three people in for that, Alessandro, um, Daniele, and Brio. Hey, everyone. So we are the Synth Cloud team. And um, Cloud Synth. Cloud Synth, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> as the name suggests, uh, we did a um, synthesizer using SoundCloud as a source for sound. Uh, 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 uh. And uh, we use um, iOS and uh, LeapD, so PDs is and the audio engine. And um, uh, now we will show you. Okay. Is, this so is it good? Well, you can actually start with this. But I Yeah. So, okay, so this is basically the app. You can look for sounds. Reset. Can we hear the, uh, the mini jack? A bit louder. So this is just the, uh, the basic sound, and um, the, the, the unique thing is basically that you can go into, um, into a user on SoundCloud and basically go through their library and use the, uh, those sounds um, to make up. Connection is super slow. Yeah, exactly. uh, should we try with 3 yeah. Sorry. Try this again then. Yeah. So here we get a list. Oh, do I need to be closer? Let's try it again. Yeah. I'm not sure why this is not uh, focusing. Let me try further down here. That's it. OK, so, uh, so I don't know if you can see it out there. This is the list of, um, of sounds of that user. So we can just basically preview the sound. Yep. <laughs> or there's like another one, like, like a kick drum. Well, I like the first one better, so I'm going to go click Use, and it's downloading the, the full sound now into our synth, eventually. So you can use it as a... ...sounds, but we've got like some really good effects. The, uh, the synth part is done in uh, pure data, and we've done some really good effects that uh, I think Alessandro is really good with. So, um, yeah. Can I, oh, okay. So you can use, um, let's say, the standard keyboard <laughs> to trigger sounds. Uh, we thought about having something more similar to a granular synthesizer, kind of. And um, so using um, the source sample uh, in the wavetable of the synthesizer. So I go on loop mode. So you have synth sound and um, we added reverb. Mm. 
we can change sound. We uh, So uh, we also added to the patch a uh, delay line, but in the end uh, it was uh, we had no time to implement it with the app, uh, but it's in it. So basically that's it. Yeah, we literally got together and uh, kind of got, got the idea yesterday and did it overnight, um, trying to do something with the SoundCloud yeah. thing. So thanks. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot. Really great app. Um, the next one is Tempo Size. Um, so it's by five people. I don't know if they will all come on stage, uh, but I've been told that it's their first hack day, and uh, it's truly impressive. So let's see how it goes. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, so our, uh, our app is called Tempo Size. Unfortunately, you are going to have to listen to another talk on the combination of exercise and uh, musical phone apps. But hey, um, great minds think alike. Uh, so uh, this was uh, a collaborative effort from uh, a, a group of five of us. We're from London. It was uh, five undergraduate students. Uh, it was our first hack day. Um, so we kind of wanted to combine the the kind of uh, the kind of movement, the rhythm of sport, I suppose, or even just kind of training and exercise, with uh, the kind of rhythm of music and the wealth of kind of unknown and discovered music that rests and lies on a place like SoundCloud. Um, the kind of beautiful thing about SoundCloud compared to other exercise apps of which there are many out there um, uh, is that they have a you know most of their most of their songs in their database are cataloged their, their their metadata is fantastic so you know you can find out so much about just all different types of music whereas on iTunes you don't necessarily have access to that kind of stuff um, so yeah let's Tom talk about running hi there everyone um, so basically, what we wanted to do was have sort of an interface where someone, much like with something like uh, Garmin sat nav watch or something like that, you could set up before you went out some form of like training plan where you could use sort of the BPM and the pace of your run to um, sort of plan out what you wanted to do and then uh, it would find and download appropriate music for you to then go out and do that. So uh, yeah, I'll pass you back. The, uh, the thing about this app is, is, is everything is defined by the user. So you are uh, an athlete, you are uh, just someone who wants to get fit. You can tailor the music to a kind of workout that suits you. And this app isn't just suitable for running, it's suitable for lots of sports, cycling, rowing, any kind of sport where your, your kind of uh, actions are depicted by... Can we swap over to... Okay, so you're welcome with the, uh, so we have a kind of few options. We, we wanted to try and keep it as simple as possible. Uh, so we have combined tempo and genre. Um, uh, you have to start off by uh, selecting uh, three genres uh, of music. You, can, you don't have to select three, you can select one. Um, so, does anybody have any ideas for genres that they would like to try? Metal. Polka. Polka. And house. Three genres of music that actually have a very uh, distinct rhythms kind of for each one. So, uh, so you would select your three uh, genres or however many genres you want. Um, and then you can go in and you then uh, tell the app how you would like to run your kind of 
fitness session, I suppose. So uh, we have a few options of kind of uh, slow jogging to kind of medium pace to kind of fast sprinting. Um, you then select between uh, uh, the distance that you would like to run uh, and the pace at which you would like to run it. Uh, the app then calculates um, according to a certain BPM uh, how much time it takes you to cover that certain distance. And then uh, what it then does is it then queries the SoundCloud uh, database via some nasty, nasty hackingness that we spent last night. I mean, it's, it's not all kosher, so I won't reveal the kind of horribleness in which we have to do. Um, SoundCloud then returns, uh, it's using the streaming uh, URL, I think, um, returns uh, the various different uh, tempos of songs, um, which it then downloads and caches onto the phone. So you don't have to use up any of your data allowance when you're out running. You can sit at home, you can, uh, most people kind of stretch before they run, they can plan their route uh, and then download it on their Wi-Fi at home and then it will store it on the phone, cache it and then it will remove the song as you listen to it basically. Um, so can you kind of see the app? We've, we've attempted to include the kind of Google API into it to kind of track your uh, location as, as you travel. Um, and and hopefully some music. Uh, so you press start. We wanted to limit the functionality here. We didn't want you to be able to skip the songs. We wanted you to kind of uh, really have to concentrate on the music and the random music that you have taught, uh, you have chosen to listen to because it's all about discovering the kind of new music that is on SoundCloud. It's not necessarily about listening to your kind of normal record collection. There's just a world of fantastic music out there which people don't have a chance to listen to. So that's kind of uh, what we were trying to. Do we have music? Is there any audio? No audio. Okay. Oh, it should play. Have you got it turned up? So, <laughs> this is a mix of metal, polka, and uh, house. This is a, you know. Um, so, as you can see, you know, you, you, you don't know what you're going to end up with. Uh, a, a kind of uh, a pirate metal. Anyway, so. <laughs> um, so basically this is our app uh, we hope you like it and run with it uh, thank you very much if you have any questions please come and ask you could just, you could just like walk through the city and play play a playlist of sounds while walking in the streets that automatically updates so um, how does it work so let me show you um, so the application is like this on your desktop um, click on it Loads. Um, once on this screen, it will um, tell you that you can localize. So you click on localize, and here you go. So here is little red dot here, and these other two icons are the sounds that are on us. And so what you can do is actually start playing the sound. and it will tell you what is around you. Um, you can do this by starting to walk and it will start updating automatically where you pass. So, um, that's mostly it. So if you want to add sounds to it, what you have to do is open your favorite SoundCloud app, record something, so just, you just say, I'm recording something. You save it. Um, so, so, very nice. so, the thing you have to do is you have to tag it with something called SBUT for sound buddy. And where? That's really important. So, let's say we are, let's say we are, I don't know, uh, at Makoto. And if you want, you can add an image. I'm just gonna add this thing. So 
again. Fight through, as bot, Koto. It's important. Every 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 step of this is important. And then just upload it. And once it's uploaded, I hope it is. Uh, yeah, it's uploading. So eventually it will it will show up on the application um, automatically. So you don't have to refresh or anything, it will do it automatically for you while you're walking. It will reposition in the, the dot where you are and the sounds that are around you. So I think I think that's it, right? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Alright, um, so that was it for Eve's uh, application, uh, remote um, one. So, um, anybody would like to demo something they came up with in the last 24 hours on audio? Yeah? Come on stage. So that looks like a hardware hack, somehow. Yes. Exciting. Hello, I have here a very quick and dirty hardware hack. It is uh, not very polished in true hack style. So back in London, I'm in a kind of a shared office space uh, where I work and we don't have any kind of door buzzer or doorbell. And we also get very little uh, mobile phone reception inside. So whenever someone's trying to deliver a package or just visit uh, the studio, you can't hear them. And if you have your headphones on listening to music, you can't hear them knocking on the door. So I have created a doorbell that will play doorbell over your computer running just a little Python script that will run in the background. And then I have my, my doorbell here so that when you, it, but it's not just a regular doorbell because that'd be boring and it's an audio hack day. It will play a random sound from Freesound that's tagged with doorbell. And it will do a different one each time you uh, press the doorbell. So let's see if internet and all this works. Some of them are not the best sounds for tags. And the last one. Okay, let's, try, let's find one more that's good. There you go. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Becky. Any other hack? Last call. Yeah? You want to come?
Yeah. But I'm on, on Wi-Fi, so... Yeah. Okay. We, we can it's probably safe then. Yeah. Okay. And also I Audi. Hi all. I'm on SoundCloud every day. You know, maybe a lot of uh, I have a lot of friends on SoundCloud and listening to the music. I have found that I have problem to search uh, uh, for tracks, users, and so on. So we have a team of three people from Slovakia, and we created such application that you can search uh, your followers, your followings, but also other people, and. Uh, you can find useful information which you want. As, uh, for example, I want to find users from Germany. Here are users from Germany. I just filter that these uh, users are online and now I can click on user. And I, uh, at the start, we, we want to make uh, some instant messenger from some cloud users, but we didn't finish server side, so we changed this to something like command line for uh, SoundCloud. So here are my commands which I implemented. So for example, I can check the tracks of, of that of this user. Yeah, here he has a lot of tracks. So for example, I can play chart number. 25, 24, it should play, don't know, maybe we can try some another track, okay, I think is there something, so, uh, what should I have right here? I, we have created some small fun part which is called Epic Battle and you can send some tricks from example from this user send send trade number 2 to the battle and from some another user let's say Michael Eaton, Michelle Eaton, I will send track number nine. It's just fun part. And then just press battle button. And he yeah, afraid one because he has more comments on that track. So this is something like interactive command console for uh, your followers or another uh, some kind of users and tracks and so on. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good option. That they, they asked the guys, so wonderful presented to the, the, to take it offline in any way. Uh, so so um, would be an option, but um, therefore it's. Um, the big need that you uh, first have the BPM count of your own songs there, there so it's, it must be in a, if, it's, if it's there, it's okay. Um, actually, the app, it's just the uh, the HTML5 um, widget of SoundCloud, but I think um, uh, if you would do some further work on it, uh, we also um, can implement some API. I don't know if SoundCloud can carry the offline API somewhere. Uh, if it's possible, it's a good idea. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> More questions? Come on. <laughs> to the guys who did the um, C wearing, you, yeah, and Co. How did you do the, uh, is it just GPS that you were using to find where the locations is, or is it a bit of compass and stuff like that as well to get the left, right? Use that mic there, maybe. Hello. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so it's mostly GPS at the moment for obviously the, the triangulation of the distance. So we sort of take two points, um, sum them together and work out an average just to say what's left and then scale that to 100 for the volume. But for the orientation, yeah, using the Compass API, um, you could use accelerometer as well for speeds. So if you want to run, you could change the adjust the track, but I don't think the SoundCloud allows you to do that. But um, we're trying to mix the few together, um, but the compass will be for left and right. It's mo it was more accurate than um, the GPS, which didn't update quick enough. But I can show you later if you want to have a look. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how relevant this could be, but this is for the, the app that does mood. Um, for example, could this app be linked to my Twitter or Facebook uh, updates using the keywords that I've written to decide what my mood is and then give me a soundtrack or a playlist based on how I'm feeling that day? I think it's to you. Yeah, that was the question for you. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was for, I think it's Yarding? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to say it again? Yeah, so. yeah basically it was um, based on my perhaps Twitter or Facebook update. Um, I want to put, you know, I had a lovely day, feeling great. Could you use this, this output to produce a playlist for how I'm feeling? Um, yeah, this is exactly what we're trying to like hack. Like yesterday, but um, there's some technical problem. We couldn't like um, use the Twitter, but we, we were trying to use like, uh, in the Twitter they have the API like um, daily trend. So we can actually like um, find the music of the day. And also we, we are trying to use some um, um, what is the name of that? Uh, Staph, no, the sentiment analyzer. I think the sen sentiment analyzer. They have a, like you can we can analyze uh, what is the keyword, what is the what is the theme of the of the of the Twitter. But um, we didn't actually make it. Uh, but we thought of like this is the, the output that this is the the next step we're trying to um, develop in the next stage. And also like um, there's a there's an idea that we want we want to like so the, the guys if they are uh, if we are playing some some sound and you can actually interact with uh, using Twitter like if you hash like hack day and they will like input some more music and some sound within the playlist as well but yeah this idea yeah thank you very much yeah thanks uh, with your guys uh, app i was curious about like because you, you chose samples like a drum machine sample or whatever like a, a kick you know your sample size was is really small like what if you Upload a whole song or something, or like, how do you limit the the time stamp of the song length or whatever? Yeah, we got the the synth is designed for small for short sounds. So um, a plan for the future is actually to short to look for short sounds to search for short sounds on SoundCloud. But we just found this guy uh, in New Jersey who we really owe a lot to, who had a lot of short sounds on his uh, SoundCloud page. So we just kind of browsed his page all the time. So, so you can't really just choose any random user. You ha you can't choose a random user, you you know, because you have the part that's insert user here. Yeah, you will be able to ch choose a. And then, because it would be cool if you chop it up. Then, like you know, you just take a part, a sample from, even if it's a long song, you know, but you could take a piece or something um, like that. Yeah, we haven't thought about that yet. We were going to basically keep it for short sounds because they're more percussive and you can actually play them like a piano. So the first idea was really to, um, to do that and implement that fully and be able to search SoundCloud for that, but maybe that's an idea for the future. Okay, and where, where can one learn about more about Pure Data and <laughs> iOS? I'm glad you're asking. Um, yeah, basically, I happen to be doing a workshop uh, tomorrow at 5.15 uh, in the afternoon at Open Tech School which is uh, where I'm discussing how to implement pure data, which is the synth framework, into an iOS environment. So if anyone is interested in that, um, um, 5.15 p.m. at Open Tech School, which is back yeah, at the other end. Yeah, it's close to the Pythagoras developer stage. Look for the Open Tech School banner. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Another question? Come on. For the the I like really like anyway I like a lot of your apps you're all great apps great apps but I was just curious like for the ones that are uh, uh, have to do with walking around or running or anything like do you, how are you planning to provide you know not everybody has a 3G so like how do you plan did you plan ahead already that there's a way to figure this out I don't know I'm not sure I can answer for everyone else but um, I found that you could 
pre-let cache a playlist, um, and then you don't need a data connection to actually use the GPS. Um, so the device provides the orientation APIs and the compass APIs and location um, in the background. You can turn your data off at that point. So then the way I built it was just using JavaScript on the front end, and it just updates. So you could actually cache a bunch of files, and then you could have a, like an exploratory sort of application in the background. Um, but you couldn't maybe load something else as a new step. But yeah, I think you could press go at home, and then you could turn your data off and probably walk around. It should, it should work. That'd be quite good. Any one of the running apps that wants to answer to her question? Uh, well, uh, in our app, we actually cached it in our app. If, if you do a GET request to, like, on SoundCloud anyway, if you do a GET request to the stream URL or the download URL, it returns a direct link that you can save. I don't know if that's documented. I don't think it is, but we kind of did a little hack so we could save the tracks, and then we're just going to get rid of them after a certain amount of time so we don't break any terms and conditions or whatever. But you can save them, because that's what, that's what we did. So um, in our app, it's like uh, you're running. So the, there's the, the the songs always can change depending on your on, on your speed and your varieties and how you run. So um, the, so uh, you need an internet connection because there. Oh, you're running around. Yeah, if you're in a city, you're lucky enough to have some uh, uh, um, um, carrier around. So um, this needs your three three G or every everything full connection is. Is needed because it's uh, you need permanent data. It's it's not like you, you we can't calculate. Okay, maybe you between um, 80 and 120 ppm. So we we just uh, serve you the sound you are running at the moment. You have a question. I have a question. Uh, it, it's, it's just for the other running guys. How, because uh, we, I've, I, I've done a running app in, in the past with Java, um, and I'm just curious how you got the BPM, because I've struggled when I did it in, in the past, and what was the kind of formula you used, like for uh, kind of how did you get the BPM? Sorry. Yeah, it's very, very complex, but the guy. Well, uh, we got an algorithm that uses the accelerometer. And uh, uh, out of those information, it, um, uh, well, it, at some time, uh, it detected uh, the step. And when you made, you made the step, and when it is detected, uh, you can sum them and count them and do whatever you want. And there is an algorithm behind this that uh, calculates when you do the step. I uh, thank you for the lovely classroom picture. <laughs> it looked uh, great. Thanks for the answers. I think it's time for announcing the winner. And I would like to ask Emily and maybe Elliot on stage. No? It's only Emily? Thanks a lot, Yana. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Elliot is gone. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to be on stage. So I think we'll start with the, the two prizes that uh, Freesound has to offer. So Moha, uh, who is representing Freesound here, is going to announce that now. Okay. Thanks. Well, um, I'll try to explain why we are giving the, these prizes. So the first one is for a hack that uh, I personally don't think it's uh, novel. But the implementation is really nice with all the cache, I think, and stuff. Um, I know there are many of them. There are five in the group. So I think they have to fight. Like a, I can challenge them to a de death fight. And the one who survives can, can keep them. Um, just kidding. They will, I will, we will sort it out. So it's for tempo size. If uh, any one of them can come. And the other set of headphones is, um, we'll give it for three reasons. One is um, 
the, for being genuinely original, the second for using our API free sound, and the third for promoting um, hardware hacking. It goes for the, the doorbell by Becky. All right, and now it's time to announce the, the first prize. OK. Um, so the first prize um, is, is going to a hack that um, I think has several qualities. Um, it's, uh, it's original. It's uh, around um, sound creation. Um, it's uh, a mobile app that is pretty awesome. I think you can use it on the go. And also, I know that one of the hackers uh, is actually a beginner hacker, and uh, I like that concept as well. So we'd like to give the first prize to Cloud Things. <laughs> Come on stage. Okay. So I don't have anything, but yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> right, so you guys are going to go to Iceland uh, in October for the Music Hack Day to hack more. <laughs> Right, so um, yeah, thanks a lot to uh, everybody. All the hacks were awesome. It was really hard to choose, actually. So keep on hacking. Uh, come to more audio hack days and, uh, and music hack days. And uh, thanks a lot for, for yeah, committing to 24 hours of hacking. It was really, really nice to be with you guys. And yeah, thanks uh, for all the audience for coming like, to the demos. I hope you liked it. Thank you. <laughs>